Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and Lies of P. Uh, honestly, the game is well optimized. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, for screen mode, I really recommend to go with uh, maximum screen. Uh, in Borderlands, I was getting sometimes some random stuttering, so that's why I recommend to go with maximum. Resolution, just use the native resolution of your monitor. Frame rate limit, I'm just locking it with my amount of Earth on my monitor. Don't go too crazy with that. You can also use unlimited if you want to the lowest input lag. For the V-Sync, I don't put any V-Sync. I don't want to add input lag. So uh, if you don't like those steering and you have technology like G-Sync or FreeSync, use that. If you don't have that, you can just put your V-Sync at on, but you will add a little bit more input lag. After that, you have the FSR 2. Not a fan of it. Uh, if you have an RTX card, definitely just use the LSS. Last resort, last resort if you're struggling with your FPS with an AMD car or a GTX car, uh, go with something like quality. Uh, you can expect 10% boost in your FPS, but I feel the game is too blurry with it. So that's why I'm not recommending it. For the Fidelity FX KKO, about the, your uh, ambient inclusion, I'm not using it. Also, I lower my ambient inclusion to get more FPS. If you have a decent computer and you can run uh, your ambient inclusion at medium or even high, definitely activate this one. Uh, your visual will be a lot better. For the LSS, I recommend to go with quality. You can expect 15 to 20% boost in your FPS. Not a huge fan of balance and performance. The game is too blurry for me, so quality seems to be a good preset. Now let's go to the graphic parameter. Visibility, I recommend to go with medium. You can expect 7% boost. At high and uh, uh, the best, the, the fourth one, uh, it, honestly, it's tanking too much your FPS, so medium is a good balance. Anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with low. Uh, and it's a bit weird that you can change your anti-aliasing when your DLSS is at on, by the way. Uh, Post-processing, I recommend to go with medium. You can expect 6% boost over there. Shadow quality, this is pretty much the parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. So if I compare best to low, you can expect 20% boost in your FPS. Low is a bit uh, weird. The game looks very flat. So I recommend to go with medium and you can expect 15% boost. Texture quality, I recommend to go at best if you have 8 gig of and more of VRAM and also your anisotropic filter quality, make sure it's matching your texture quality. So you should put it at best and best if you put it at best in texture quality. Effect quality, I recommend to go with medium, good compromise and you will stabilize your FPS. You're not necessarily getting more FPS by just lower it. It's more when you're fighting and you see some effect, uh, it will help to stabilize your FPS. Vegetation quality, you can run medium or even high. If you have a decent video card, you can run definitely this one easily. Not a huge impact, like 2% different in your FPS over there. Shading quality, I recommend to go with medium. Uh, again, good balance. I don't see a big difference between uh, medium and high. And you can expect 4% boost in your FPS if you compare both. So that's why I recommend medium over there. 
Reflection quality, this one thank a lot your FPS. I did a couple of tests on my laptop with a GTX 1050. And honestly, this one should definitely go at low. And you're not seeing the impact in your visual, honestly. So that's why my recommendation is going with low with this one. Volumetric for quality, I recommend to go with medium. A nice 5% boost over here. And then occlusion, really depend. If you want pure FPS, go with low. But again, the game looks flat, a bit like shadow quality. So my recommendation is maybe start at medium and look at your FPS. And the last one, I just told you about it. Just match it with your texture quality. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Allies of P guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.